Greetings. My name is Tim Stark. I'm a professor of civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm recording videos of the various test methods that are used to measure the index and performance properties of geomembranes for containment applications. Today, I will cover the test method D7408 titled Standard Specification for Non-Reinforced PVC Geomembrane Seams. This specification covers the minimum values for seams fabricated into unreinforced PVC geomembrane panels in the factory and also in the field. The specification covers PVC geomembrane thicknesses from 0.25 millimeters to 1.5 millimeters or 60 mil thick. There are various types of seam techniques for unreinforced geomembranes and this test method can be used for all of those techniques thermal welds, solvent welds, and adhesive welds and they are to check the integrity of the seams for geomembranes and containment applications. The apparatus used to test the seams is a tensiometer which is shown here. The tensiometer must be able to apply a constant displacement rate it will have one fixed grip during the test, which is the left grip, and one movable grip, which is the right grip. And, those, and the movable grip will move at this constant displacement rate of 50 millimeters per minute for a 30 mil PVC unreinforced geomembrane in this particular test, which is the peel of the seam. Five, samples, uh, five specimens are obtained from one sample of the factory or field seam. So five exact specimens are cut from the seam, as you see here. Here four plus one in the grips. And the peel strength for all five are averaged, and that is the reported peel strength of the seam. The seam is loaded into the grips with a half an inch or 13 millimeters from each grip. So the seam is 13 millimeters from each grip. An easy way to do that in preparation is to mark the seam with a line that's 13 millimeters or half an inch from the seam. It's marked on both sides and then that piece of the geomembrane of the seam is loaded into the grip up to that line and then the grip is locked down on that flap of the seam and the same on the other side. And in the peel test, the movable grip will start pulling the seam apart in peel, trying to pull or peel open the seam in this particular test. We're now ready to start the test with the tensiometer. The tensiometer will read the force that's resisting, pulling it apart, and it will also record the displacement that the movable grip has gone at that particular time. So the test is ready. I'll start the test. The movable grip is moving to the right. You can see the geomembrane starting to elongate a little bit. The seam is being pulled in peel. The geomembrane is elongating also on the other side near the stationary grip on the left side. The load right now resisting is 121 newtons at a displacement of 33 millimeters. The parent material is tight within the grips because it's being pulled apart. And on this side, you can start seeing the parent material thinning right adjacent to the seam. And also over here, both sides are very tight in the grips. The seam is now resisting 128 newtons at a displacement of 60 millimeters. 
the geomembrane on, near, on the fixed side is starting to peel away from the seam and you can see it's notching in and so the parent material is tearing away from the seam right there. So the peak load is 128 at a displacement of 75 millimeters. So I'll take the seam out of the grips and there's the peel of the seam. It's a little bit into the solid weld. This is a single track or a solid weld. And so on the data sheet for the test, I will write 128. And the next piece of information on the data sheet is a description of the failure. So there's the failed seam. Inside the test method D7608, there are codes for how the seam failed. This corresponds to a peel of the seam at the parent material, and so it would get a break code of SE1. So I will enter SE1 in the data sheet. And then the last piece of information is calculating the seam strength, which is 128 newtons divided by the initial width of the specimen, which is 25.4 millimeters as shown here under sample dimensions, W0 that yields a seam strength of 5.0 kilonewtons per meter. This test would be repeated four more times with these other four seams and the average of those five seam strengths would be the reported peel strength value. That peel strength value would be compared to the project specifications to see if the seam met the project requirements. That completes the peel strength test of an unreinforced PVC geomembrane seam. If you'd like additional information, please email me at fabricatedgeomembrane at gmail.com or visit our website at www.fabricatedgeomembrane.com.